So welcome back guys to another episode, just vanning it. We have left Rainbow Beach. A bit sad to leave really, but um, we've got to keep going. We've been there for a while. The weather has um, been pretty good while we were there and um, unfortunately only a few fish here and there, but we're heading up just north of Harvey Bay to a hip camp or U camp um, to, a gen to a property. I'm not too sure Sue's booked this. She's just over there for Sophie. Just going to the toilet for Sophie and um, got a coffee. You know, we need coffee to keep us going, but good news is we're only 20 minutes away. So just off the um, Bruce Highway, heading north of um, Harvey Bay. Um, we left Rainbow this morning about 9.30. It's going pretty slow. Oh. Well, pulled up to the entrance. It's a bit tricky, but Sue was actually just telling me now, he, send, he sends you a message. What is this hip cam called, yeah? Right, it's called Peaceful Riverside Camping. And Michael's the host, I reckon. Yeah, so Michael's the host. So you come down, he sends you a message. You'll understand it when you get the message, but you come down and you roll on, he sends you a gate code, and Sue's punched the gate code in here, which, um, yeah, he sends you. So, it's giving us directions to keep onto the gravel road, and we've got to follow this all the way down and find a camp near the river. Obviously at the right place because the code worked. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's a bit narrow. Oh. So really important is sometimes to do the exploratory walk before you drive down something. And um, we were just going to head for it, but decided to just walk ahead and check it out. And. I've got a feeling that might be... You can't really see with a GoPro, but that's pretty steep. I know. And also, we've got um, rain due um, tomorrow night, and we're leaving on Tuesday, and it's raining, and you... Nah. We're not going to be getting down there no. and back up there. So, we're going to pull up just over here, which is absolutely stunning pretty quiet. Looks like we're the only ones here, so we've got the place to ourselves. Let's get going. Yeah. Well, took the van off. We went down there with the, uh, you, look, she's pretty steep, but when we got to the bottom, there's heaps of people here, and we found a great spot, so I've come back up, we've hitched up, I spoke to the old mate, old mate that, that sort of runs the park, or his property, and he reckons we should be able to get in and out of there. We'll just well, he's got a tractor if we can't. Yeah, so. so look, he says, like, if it rains really bad, it's like, look, it's pretty steep. It's, and the problem is it, can, it gets slippery. But we'll put it in um, low range going down. So we'll use the engine to slow down the caravan and hopefully um, get in. But wait till you see the spot we got. Here we go. Told you, it is an absolute ripper of a spot. We just got here, just set up, and look at that. 
on the river. But we thought it had a boat ramp, so it doesn't. And we've got the um, trailer now. So we're gonna use this beautiful winter's day. Can you believe it's winter here in Queensland? Well, there's the half part of the boat trailer. I'm gonna whip it around and we're gonna take the boat off. Let's get the trailer set up because um, yeah, we jump on this beautiful river. I don't even know how far up the river we are, but apparently old mate said there's a boat ramp back in the little town. So let's put together the trailer and um, head onto the water and go for a beautiful fish. Well, little update. So this camp doesn't have a um, boat ramp. And because we just got the trailer, it's not registered. So we didn't get the boat off today. I had to grab um, firewood on this, on this gentleman's property. And our camp's just through over there. And um, got the chainsaw. I'm gonna cut up some wood. I suppose light a fire tonight. And um, what have we got cooking tonight? We're cooking chicken. Roast chicken. Roast chicken. I'm not quite on the fire, but we're going to show you something that we've purchased instead of using the Weber, which we actually have got a few questions about. But anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. Instead, I'm going to cut up some wood. We're going to get a fire started. Because I tell you what, the day was absolutely gorgeous, but as soon as that sun dips down, it gets a wee bit chilly. But anyway, let's cut some wood. What a great product this is. I've cut too much wood for it, but look at this. Carry your wood. That's the guy. So you guys, if you're wondering, we use a Stoll 120C battery. Now we cut some big logs there, and I reckon the battery was full. And um, still got three bar. And then purchased a crash pad chainsaw bag. I think it was $165. Everything fits in it. It's got this, um, come closer dear. Quick. It's got this um, waterproof inside. So if there's any oil that leaks, you can just wipe it out. And then charger, my oil, everything just goes in the bag. Like that. Happy days. So yeah. <laughs> Put it nicely in here. Tucked away. Don't scare. Well guys, it's getting a bit dark. It's definitely getting a bit cold. We're gonna light this up. And then, that's gonna keep us, oh, hang on. There's plenty of sticks around. We've actually, we've actually just met the, um, the owners. Such a lovely couple. Um, and they've only just had this for since oh, the two days before Christmas, they reckon. And um, he's cleared out all this area. He said you couldn't even get down here. And um, yeah, it's a pretty cool spot. It's got it's got great plans for this place, which is good. But um, yeah, we're gonna light this quickly. So Sophie's gotta go for a walk, and then we're gonna show you this apparatus that I've bought to do the chicken. 
It's a bit late to get the drone up, but we'll see what we can try and do. Otherwise, I'll get it up in the morning. What's an apparatus? <laughs> what do you What do you call it? <laughs> hey? <laughs> apparatus. Yeah, I reckon you guys are enjoying like this apparatus. But anyway, let's get this going. Let's get this fire going. And then we can get the chicken on the go. You make fire better than you catch fish. Yeah, oh, I'm a shit fisherman. But anyway, old mate reckons is definitely fish here. So we'll give it a go. So guys, unfortunately it's gotten dark. That's okay. A couple of tins down. Fire's going lovely over there. So this is it. We've given this a little bit of a test run. It's called a cob. C-O-B-B. -B. Got it from Snowy's Outdoors. And basically, it's a little oven. But what we like about this is it's, you don't use gas. Um, you literally light up a couple of heat beads um, inside, so it's a bit dirty. We're going to light up a few heat beads in here. And then you actually cook your chicken. You can do, we've tried pizzas. We've tried um, steaks. Um, you get different attachments for this. So tonight what we're going to do is we're going to use the rotisserie attachment, which you can buy separately. I think this was about $189, just as you see it here. And then you can get the roasting um, grill, the steak grill, which we've bought, the pizza stone, which we've bought, but and then we've also bought the um, rotisserie pot, which is battery operated, which is even better for us because you don't need to run power or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep the chicken and then get that ready light this so long um, and then we'll show you in a few seconds the whole contraption put together it, it holds heat for about two two and a half hours so we've cooked beautiful steaks ribs on this with pork which actually came out bloody great but tonight we're going to do a cooked chicken and we're going to show, we, we, show you the end product and we're going to get it going light it up get this nice and hot like an oven so this actually doesn't get hot you can actually put this down on a plastic table. This is a metal table. You can actually touch it, which I'll show you. And what we've learned is this gets really hot. But this, with the, the rotisserie, will sit about that high. And it actually forms this beautiful oven. With stainless steel, it gets really, really hot. So let's get that sorted. Well, guys, as you can see, there's about 12 heat beads in there. These are the heat beads I use. You can get the original cobs, but that works. it works out pretty dear, but now, that is piping hot. We are going to get the chicken on. So here you go, guys. Just like that. This is the little motor, battery operated. It hooks in like that. Slide it in like that. It's got this little thing. Look at that. And then, away we go. Put the lid on, and we're going to form a nice, nice cooking oven here. And we let that go for about two hours. So those 12 heat beads will last 12, two hours. One thing I forgot is the cob, when you buy it, it actually comes with a material bag, which is great. Let me just grab it over here. You can see, this comes with a nice little bag. And um, yeah, we'll just put it on the ground. We're gonna, we're gonna let that go. Sink a few more tins. Since it's Saturday night, fire's going. Play some music and um, we'll catch you when this is done. Just a quick little update. You can see that is like an oven in there. One of the reasons why we like the cob compared to the Weber, is it gives it a bit of a fire flavor. And if you can see, look at this. Guys, yes, look at that, about 40 minutes left, whoopa, that's the finished product, and I'll tell you what, the little chicken fairy's been here, Sue, spot on, got a couple of potatoes in here that we put on next to the fire, and a bit of gravy going, shame, Sophie's still not well. We're really stressed about her. It's fogging up in here. Hang on. It's fogging up in here because Sue's got the pot boiling for the dog's pneumonia. 
so she can breathe better. But as you can see, it's turned into a bloody rainforest in here. But anyway, that's the finished product, guys. If you want to know anything more, oh, it's getting super. If you want to know any more, DM us or drop any comments in. We love to read your comments as well. So drop them in and we're happy to get back to you. But I'm going to tuck into some tucker. Sue, hang on a minute. This is <laughs> steaming up in here. But the dog's breathing better. Sue wants to have a little fish off the I'm bank. Gonna put, I'm going to put a little bit of um, squid in the water and see if there's any action. All right. Well, good morning. Woken up. Terrible night's sleep with Sophie last night. She just was just not to settle. I don't know where anyone is. Absolutely don't know where. Sue's, oh, hang on. Sue's got up. Looks like. Oh. What are you doing? Why don't you wake me up? You've left me sleepy, Wally. You getting some bites? Bites, but there's too much happening in front of me here. Yeah, there's not really a big opening there, hey? A lion keeps on getting hooked up in the tree, so we need to go somewhere. Now, the bloody boat happen. is boat trailer's not red, Jode. No, so it's typical. We just can't get seem to get organised, can we? No. What's our priority this week? For me. Yeah. Fishing today, work tomorrow. And the boat trailer? And the boat trailer registered. Get the boat trailer registered. Yeah. Well, we just arrived at Burham Heads, eh? Sophie, what do you think of this joint so far? Yeah, well, just arrived at Burham Heads, guys. And um, what we like to do is support the little local businesses. So Sue's gone into the coffee house for a coffee. Nice little... Um, bait and tackle shop here with a little bit of a hardware store going in Burham Heads and Sue's in here for coffee. Woohoo! What do you got? I've got a skinny cappuccino. How much is it? $5.70. Ask them for the biggest one they have. They don't do five litre buckets so I settled for this. Do they do anything else but coffee? They do fish and chips, they do burgers, they do sandwiches, dim sums, really good prices as well. Wow. Well, now we search for a spot to go fish, possibly cook up some breakfast in the back. We've got pancakes and um, yeah, pity the trailer's not licensed. But anyway, it's one of those things they say, get more prepared. Through the fields of my heart strange now dreams holding us closer meadows of our youth a hundred and seven days we're calling it backwards our dreams holding us closer Boat in the water, hey. Look at this. They're all around me. I can't catch them. What are you trying to do? <laughs> what are you trying to do? I was gonna catch some more fish left. Doesn't matter what size it is. We're just down at the small. little local sort of boat ramp with parks up there. And Sue's Sue's an eager. Oh, they're all around us. Just little fish. But there's actually a nice drop off here, but the current is actually ripping out of here. So I'm gonna toss a lure there and see if it'll drift along with the current and bring it in. I reckon my bag's done already. What? Yeah, just little typewriters. Oh! No, just on a bit of seaweed. Well, we did bump into some fellow people coming off the, off the ramp and all made saw my tinny on the roof and said, don't even bother. <laughs> I just uh, wasting bait out there. But guys, it is an absolute pearl of a day. Oh, look, look at that. that. Got some seaweed. Got some seaweed, eh? That's about all I'm getting. Well, fishing's a, a game of patience, they say. 
Just gotta keep trying. Another one. Yeah. What do you got? Ah, oh, a little one. Oh yes. How does it feel to have a fish on the end of the rod, though? Well, I don't huh? know. You tell me. Oh, oh my God, are you gosh. serious? <laughs> what have we got? What have we got? Yeah. What have I got, lad? This is how you catch fish. See? All right. Now get it off. I don't touch fish. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. You take this. <laughs> Don't drop that. These are the benefits of having a husband. Don't drop it. You see? We also caught a stripey. Hello. Right, Kiss it. Oh, you can kiss him. Oh, there we go. Well, that's a bit of fun. A bit of fun, eh? It's by no means a meal, but a bit of fun. Oh, here he comes. Popped into the old fish and chip shop for a bit of lunch. Got myself a fish burger. Oh my goodness, that looks epic. Because I can't catch fish. There's a thing that I saw the other day going around on Facebook or okay. Call me 00, 007. Zero fish, zero bite, seven hours later. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna have this feed and then we're gonna head back to the um, to our van which is about 20 minutes up the road. And uh, we've actually decided to play it safe for Sue for work tomorrow. We actually move into another another camp just down the road, which we'll keep a little bit of a secret until we get there. But we'll head back. Well, it's a, it's a shame that we have to leave this camp because it is an absolute gem. I'm so glad we came at the end of the day. Um, but the internet's just not good enough. And Sue starts some sort of new role at work tomorrow. So the internet's got to be pretty good so we don't want to take a chance um, so yeah but so Sue what do you think can you tell these uh, lovely fellow followers of ours what you what the place was and the name and 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 and, and, and what all it what all it um, includes I think it's called peaceful riverside, riverside camping I think. camping it's um, on wiki camps just outside of a town called Howard it's about $10 per person per night, so a really reasonable rate. You have to be self-contained. They do have a port loo that you can rent for $20 if you don't have a loo. Um, really great spot on the river. Um, you can have campfires, fishing, and collect your free firewood. Um, really beautiful peaceful. It's a shame, isn't it? It is a shame. It's absolutely stunning. And I'd say the whole week if it went for the internet, it's the only reason we're leaving early. So yeah, guys, unfortunately it is what it is. But if you can snap yourself a, a good little camp along here, you can fish off here. Uh, Michael did say that the guys tend to catch um, whiting, flathead, um, brim jacks off here, which is pretty cool if you want to bring the family down. But I would say it's a bit of more of a a weekend getaway if you don't need internet well that's that, that's even better but we're going to wrap this up now and we're heading to a place about 20 minutes from here called trinity islands we've booked in there for a fair few days um just so that uh, we've got internet for sue's work and um we've got a few things to do in harvey Bay.
Well, look at this for a bloody spot, eh? Trinity Waters, unpowered. Now oh, look at this, on the lake. What a beautiful caravan park. What a great idea. If, if they've built it around this dam, that's an island. You can actually, well, they say it's an island, but you drive on, you can camp on there. There's a couple of powered sites on there. Otherwise, you've got to be fully self-contained on that one. A couple of powered on there, unpowered. We're on the unpowered section. Some caravans up there. And in the far distance, I don't know if you can see the building over there, but that's uh, amenities. So you've got toilets and showers over there. Been in there spotless but guys honestly what a great spot we allowed campfires yet too so before we left the other spot since we were allowed to we grabbed our own firewood we got our fire pit we're going to put that fire pit up there that wind's coming across here but look at this eh? Hey? what a spot let's get sue's input so what do you think of this eh? Hey? what do you think it just gets better and better is this it's... not is this not one of far out i don't know just gets better and better. I don't understand how there aren't more people. Yeah, here. we asked her why aren't like well, we are the people. Like, look at this 20 minutes from Harvey Bay, and we're about 10 minutes to Burham Heads, about nine k's to Burham Heads that, that way, and then you go down that way about five k's, turn right, and I think Harvey Bay is another 18 k's that way. So it's yeah, about there and thereabouts. But look at this, eh? It's can't get enough. Look how close we are to the water, level. Grass side, they don't even bother putting the um, ground sheet down. Fire put over here tonight. I just watch this beautiful view. And I tell you what, it's, it's nice and quiet here. Every now and again, you can hear a bit of road noise, but that's fine. But we're going to tuck in tonight, early night tonight. Sophie kept us up. Fire, dinner, and into bed and up tomorrow. I wish I could stay here Beside you in this moment There's a future ahead of me But the future can wait I wish the time could stand I wish the sun never goes down There's a future ahead of us But the future can wait the future can wait One day we will look back And remember times like that It will taste an even sweeter But the past remains the past But the past remains the past
Here we go. Let's go fishing. So, we've got the trailer licensed and we've installed a sounder. And I've gone with the Rome Marine, I think it's called the Axiom 7 Plus 3D. Let's see what it's got to do. guys I reckon this is the spot no idea but we're gonna give it a go yeah. tackle up with some squid on and then flick a lure on the other side I reckon that's the go let's try and get I've just bought a brand new pair of scissors I just don't know what I've done with them I don't know if you can see the boat's just pulled up here before I talk too loud How's that for a setup if you can see it? It's got a rooftop tent on it. Amazing. Oh. Huh. What do we got here? I even put the GoPro off. Don't know what we got, but it sang me a song. Ah, catfish. Well, it's the first bloody fish of the day. First bite I had, and it absolutely. You gotta watch out for these catfish, they've got a spark on them. I think I'm just going to uh, release it very gently. Just to let you know. Yeah, I did catch something. Guys, what an epic spot. We've been here for five nights. Um, we're only intending to come for two. Uh, Trinity Caravan Park, and it is absolutely amazing. It's got everything you want. It's got ablutions, which are immaculate. They follow a really, really strict COVID um, plan, so really, really safe. It's got three lakes behind us. They catch and release. They've got everything from Barra, Yellow Betty. Um, you're allowed to open fires and it's got amazing signal um, if you're needing to work from the van or if you need some Wi-Fi. Uh, what do you think, Lav, in terms of spots around Australia? Yeah, guys, this is pretty good. One pretty of the places to 35 be. 35 bucks a night, like Sue said. Clean amenities, um, and they put a lot of infrastructure in. We've met the owner, Diana, is it Diana? Diana, and she was absolutely she was lovely. Amazing. From the time we phoned through to make the booking, nothing but the probably the best hospitality we've experienced around Australia. So you're looking for something a little bit more open space, more tranquil than being in a caravan park inside Harvey Bay. Strongly suggest come here. Um, 25 minutes to Harvey Bay. 25 and, uh, minutes to Harvey Bay, 10 minutes to Barham Heads. Yeah, fortunately, no fish. No fish, but I don't think that that's the area. I think maybe that's the operator. Um, old 007 over here, zero yeah. bites. Zero fish, uh, seven hours. Yep, commonly anyway, known. We packed up, it's been it's hard to leave, but we got to keep moving. We're tiptoeing ourselves a bit north. So next week's vlog, we can't wait to share with you our next spot and we hope we've never been before so it's all new to everyone so until then guys see ya